The Alabama Farmers Federation and the Alabama Farmers Cooperative proudly present Simply Southern with your hosts, Jim Allen and Mary John. Hello and thanks for joining us for Simply Southern. I'm Mary John. And I'm Jim Allen. For two weeks, we've been building up to today. You've met the runners up and today we'll introduce you to Alabama's outstanding young farm family for 2019. They always had cows and one was a row cropper and then my dad became a catfish farmer so I just took catfish and cattle and I'm doing both. Lemurs and bears and kangaroos, oh my! This exotic animal farm and wild game restaurant is causing a roar in Boaz, Alabama. I think this place gives that opportunity to really go from farm to table. Sidney Phelps of Bonnie Plants talks a lot about backyard gardening, but today he's on a Lee County farm where growing vegetables and herbs is not just a hobby, it's their livelihood. But we'll begin today's show in Decatur at one of the longest running hot air balloon festivals in this part of the country. What sustains us? Food, family, faith. Alabama farmers live those things every day. They conserve our resources clothe our families, and fill our tables. They cultivate jobs for our communities and values for our future. Farmers grow it all right here in Alabama. There's no such thing as downtime when you own a farm. This is your land. You tend it and try to get the most from it, no matter the weather or time of day. It's been that way for generations. And for generations, your local quality co-op store has been there for you. With a full range of agriculture supplies and services, from feed to fertilizer, seed to grain storage, and the right hardware for any application, you'll always find what you need. Plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. Perched along the Tennessee River, it's no surprise many call Decatur, Alabama, the River City. But did you know that the state legislature has also dubbed Decatur the ballooning capital of Alabama? The reason for this honor is an annual Memorial Day weekend festival that's become one of the most popular attractions in the state. People do love a balloon. How else do you explain so many folks out and about at 6 a.m. on a holiday weekend? There's just something about these big, bulbous, multicolored flying machines that fascinate us. That's clearly true in Decatur, which has been celebrating this vintage flying machine for over 40 years. It always takes place Memorial Day weekend, the Saturday and Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. And most of the time it's when you're, you go to events and people want to get up and close with the stars. Here are the stars of the balloons and you get up and close to them, you can see them, you can touch the basket, you can hear the propane, and then you can talk to the pilots as well. 60 balloon teams from across the country participate in the festival every year, competing in a variety of competitions, if the weather cooperates. But unlike many hot air balloon festivals, the Jubilee Hot Air Balloon Classic is much more than just a race. The best part about Alabama Jubilee is coming out and seeing the people. A lot of the balloon races, you go out for competition and you don't ever really see the crowd, but here they let the crowd come out to us. We get to talk and shoot the ball with them and it's the way it should be everywhere. Whether they're at rest on the ground or lifting into the sky, the balloons transform the grounds at Point Mallard Park into a brilliant field of color. Pilots enjoy demonstrating their aircraft to visitors, some even offering tethered flights. It's, hi daddy, I'm up here. Uh, and dads are down on the, the ground making pictures of their child in the air. Even adults, uh, older than I am, uh, you see a big smile on their face and they're waving real big, look at me, look at me, I'm up in the air. Since they are at the mercy of wind conditions, Hot air balloon events largely take place in the morning and evening hours. In the meantime, there's plenty to fill your time. With classic car shows, antique tractor parades, arts and craft fairs, fun for the kids, and all kinds of good food, there should be something everyone can enjoy. But as the sun begins to set, crowds gather for probably the most anticipated part of the weekend. 
Saturday evening is one of the highlights of the thing. It's the balloon glow. And when you have a whole field of 50, 55, 60 balloons, uh, it'll take your breath away to see these things light up. And what's really cool is they're all lit up, but um, we'll, have a, uh, we'll have a command from the stage to tell certain balloons to light up, and they light up. The Jubilee Hot Air Balloon Classic started back in 1978 after Decatur decided to buy its own balloon to promote the city abroad. With up to 75,000 people attending the weekend event, I'd say they made a pretty good investment. Like I said, folks, there's just something about a balloon. They're just so colorful and beautiful, and it's just magical, just simply magical. I think that most people seem to love the fact that this is the first way that man had ever flown. Plus, whenever you're lifted up in the air, it's almost like you're walking on a cloud. Uh, you know, it, it, it's fascinating to see the art of the people that put these things together and how they blow them up, how they fly them and they land them and balloon, and especially at night when they display them with the, with the light display. That's out of this world. To me, I'm an old 92-year-old veteran. I enjoy a thing like, man, I, anything I can get to see is something I get to see. I don't want to miss nothing, and I love it. I love it. Just in case you missed it, folks, this is a free event, so you can save your money for the food trucks. Good plan. So tell us, how was it to fly in the hot air balloon? Well, Mary, unlike other forms of flight, when you get in a hot air balloon, you go where the wind takes you. Okay, the wind was taking us towards an airport that day, so they wouldn't let them fly. But I did get to go up in a tethered ride. Okay. Um, and I've, but I've flown before, and it's one of the most peaceful things you can do. So your heart rate stayed a little lower than like when you were skydiving, maybe. A good bit lower, yeah. <laughs> now coming up next on Simply Southern, if you're looking for dinner and a show, look no further than Bama Bucks. With a restaurant specializing in wild game and an exotic animal park, it's definitely a unique experience in the Deep South. Soybean is a very versatile product. We make crayons out of it. A lot of the combines you see rolling through the fields have a lot of plastic side panels that are made from a soy product. The soybeans that we grow on our farm mostly goes into chicken feed. Soybean production in Alabama employs over 10,000 people. We grow some of the best soybeans in the world. We go the extra mile to make sure when our name is stamped on it, we know it's the best product we can produce. Wherever you call home, Alpha is there. In first places, bigger spaces, forever homes. Alpha's homeowner's coverage fits the way you live. All for a better life. And with Alpha's home systems protection, you can cover major home appliances and more. Alpha Insurance. Alpha now insures more kinds of homes than ever. Find an agent at alphainsurance.com. Support healthy food from local farmers by purchasing a Farming Feeds Alabama license plate. The TAG funds education and promotion efforts, including Ag in the Classroom, Agricultural Scholarships, and Youth Programs. Get your Ag Tag today. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes onto the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer.